Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Factorio tutorial. My name is Rude Negative and let's get cracking today. We're going to have a chat about combinators. Now this is going to cover combinators at a very, very basic level. We're just going to give you a bit of an idea of what their purpose is in the game. Because a lot of people have been saying, well what the hell do you do with them? You know, we've been playing without them, why do we need them? Now, to start with, what we're going to do is we're going to cover off on why we might need them. Now, remember that we've been able to trigger uh, inserters with a signal for a very long time now. Ages. Probably 0.9 or before. I want to ditch some stuff from my inventory. Now, what the combinators mean, they're effectively a way to make a decision. And then, act upon that decision. Very, very powerful. Okay, all of a sudden, our factories can think for themselves so right now okay we've been able to activate this with a signal all right let's say that we're gonna activate it with a signal of stone equal to one and we're gonna work when stone whoops stone is greater than one fair enough this needs to be greater than zero okay off we go now this, this is going to just dump resources in there forever. Now, we could always hook this up to the box itself, but the utility of this was always limited. Uh, there was always a, a limited amount that we can do. Now, inserters have been joined by pumps in their ability to uh, be controlled by the circuit network. I can hook the pump up to uh, a pole now and I can get the same condition, along with lights as well. Lights give you access to this GUI. So you can turn all of these three things on using signals. Why is that cool? You're, you can get your factory to think for itself. We'll start with the decider combinator. Okay, so this is the decider combinator. This side is the input side, okay? keep. <laughs> Just keep this in mind, right? Input, output. You mix them up, you're going to have a bad day. So the decider in combinator is a way of making a decision. Fair enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a really, really quick build. That just has some resources flowing in a circle. Now, oh, actually, hold on. I have an idea on how to do this. So this is going to request in two things for me. Okay, fair enough. That'll get delivered very shortly. Now, what I've got is I'll have two chests, and these are going to be hooked into the logistics net. Uh, sorry, the circuit network. Now. I've just grabbed copper and iron as an example because I'm going to do some things with the, com the decider combinator. Now what I want is I want to maintain a certain amount of... Uh, how can I do this? Different idea because we'll come to this later. Okay, you go away. Let's say, for example, I wanted to maintain more of something than something else. We can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little decider combinator. I'm going to throw him down here. I'm going to hook these two boxes up to it. What do you go? Now, once these start working, they're going to end up with some, cop um, some iron and some copper. Now, you'll notice that the input signal here is copper and iron. Alright, so let's just say that I want to keep more iron, or roughly about the same amount of iron, as copper. Okay, well let's just say we want, um, if iron is greater than copper, we want to output a signal. Now over here in this signals tab, there's all these little signals, and these are just arbitrary. They're a way of putting out a signal so that you can then use it. So this is going to say, all right, well, when we've got iron greater than copper, we're going to output a signal. Fair enough. 
Actually, this needs to be the other way over. When iron is less than copper, we're going to output a signal. So you notice that we've got 44 iron. That's obviously less than 100 copper. We're outputting a signal of zero. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this from the output and I'm going to hook it up to this inserter. And I'm going to say, right, when you get a signal from zero saying that in effect we have less iron than copper, I want it to work. Oh, there we go. It's like magic. Let's spin this around. Now you'll notice that these two are staying about the same. And this this is all without me touching it. Okay, this this is pretty much balanced. Now I could do a bit more work here and get this really nice. Uh, but basically this just demonstrates that we have an, a way of being really smart. Let's say, for example, okay, just for example, that we wanted to have two times the amount of iron. Let's see if we could do that. Right, we'll turn this off for the moment. We'll pick this up and uh, just spin that around. We want two times the amount of iron. Well, here's an arithmetic combinator. And I'm going to introduce this up here. And I'm going to keep this one here. Because we're going to make the same comparison again. We're going to say, okay, well, let's let's compare the iron with the copper. And when we have less than uh, less iron than copper, we're going to work. Okay, we're going to we're going to get that signal to to happen. Okay, so let me just hook that up before I forget about it. And uh, we're going to take the uh, the smart chest in here. All right, so this this is all the same. Right now we're getting a signal. Okay, and we're getting an output signal because this is obviously less. What we're going to do here though is we're going to run this through an arithmetic combinator. This gives you the ability to perform mathematics on every signal. So say for example we just want to times the iron by 2 set and then we're going to output the iron. Sound pretty simple? It is, trust me. So we're going to put in 100 iron and we're going to hook the box up to the combinator Holy shit, it's like magic. We've only got 100 iron in the box. All of a sudden, we have an output signal of 200. Are you following along? I hope so, because it's about to get real trippy, yo. What we're going to do is we're going to hook this from the output into the input. Okay, now... Whoa, I've done it backwards. <laughs> this is why you shouldn't do combinator builds live. <laughs> Rightio. We're just going to make a slight adjustment here. Actually, oh, that, that that actually would work. I just need to do it a different way. So this this is going to divide it by two. Because we want to keep twice the amount of iron, remember? So we'll hook this to here. Righty out. So we've got half that. The output signal is now 40, 59. 50, sorry. We're inputting it there as another signal. And right now, it's showing that we're comparing 50 iron with 65 copper. Let's turn some things back on. So theoretically, if we have 65 copper in there, we need 130 up here. Holy shit. That's very close. So let's see. Right now, oh, I need to, I need like a little monitor wire. That would be good. Let me, let, me, let me just throw this down. Because I want to monitor what is actually in both boxes. So right now you can see that we're... Whoa, if we, we're keeping up. Which we're not. Let's change that to 500 because the bots are slowing up. Alrighty. So you can see that we've got roughly two times the amount of iron. Why is this a good thing? Now we can balance ratios. We can have things inherently ba balanced in the game, and we can control our inserters, by extension also our pumps, and get them all to work in a way that kind of thinks to themselves. Right now, this is doing some mathematics. It's figuring out, right, well, I want twice as much iron as I want copper. Let's set that aside. Let's get it sorted. And it's running itself without me having to actually do anything. Now, let's say, for example, I pick this up. Oh, 
I want this in here. You can see, all of a sudden, this inserter stops. Okay, it's going to wait for this other one to catch up. It's going to take quite a while. So we'll pick up some of this. So at about 80, the green inserter will start working again. Whoop, there it went. This is the power of combinators. It gives you the ability to firstly do mathematics, secondly make a decision based upon that result. There, they seem intimidating, they are intimidating, but the sooner you dive head first in it and have a crack, the better off you are. So enjoy that, have fun with it. I'm going to uh, attempt to teach what I can about combinators. However, I'm not an expert by any uh, stretch of the imagination. I am learning just like anyone else. So I will be back with another tutorial very, very shortly. And I look forward to seeing you then.